No. We're live. We're live. Else, well, see how we easy that was. Back, yay, John. So good it. to have you back, John. We had to yeah. pay for <laughs> we had to pay for I love it how when Americans try to speak in an Australian accent, they only come off as British. <laughs> oh, I was doing a Beatles. He was doing Liverpool. He was, I was, he was doing a Liverpool accent. That is a really no, good British was... accent, too. My thing is, uh, right. when I try to do Australian, I actually do New Zealand because I was watching too much uh, Flight of the Concords. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, a Korg, Korg, the rings. Korg from uh, Ragnarok was like, oh. <laughs> He has the best accent. Hey, hey I'm Cork. This is Mick. Uh, would you like to get on a spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go. I'm gonna go find a new planet to, to snipe on. It's the same accent, isn't it? No, no, no. no. Very no. Different. Not. you did not just say that. It's like saying Texas and, and Indiana are the same accent. Yeah, for real. Well, I know that they're different. <laughs> for real. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Texas and New Zealand are the same accent, aren't oh they? My yes. gosh, yeah. Howdy, ma'am. <laughs> Good day, ma'am. Good day, uh, ma'am. <laughs> Do they say good day in New Zealand? I I think Texans would get along real well in Australia. I, th I have a feeling. They no, would. Yeah. They would just tell everybody that everything oh, is so much bigger wrong. in Texas and then Australians <laughs> would just make fun of them and be mean. Like, you know, you can fit a hundred Texases in, in Australia. <laughs> yeah, and then we'd be just like, get out. <laughs> Y'all, I found the... Uh, I found the logo for the new zealand air force i'm going to show it whenever you oh okay <laughs> yeah, yeah whenever y'all are ready juan yeah. came in telling us about the new zealand air force and and then something about turkey was almost our national bird that is that yeah. true yeah. so every time there's a uh a, a, gosh a debate about well your vote counts one vote counts it's one of those because apparently adolf hitler was voted in uh by one vote and then we we were almost speaking german I knew that was another vote, right? That was one vote that wow. was, it was between English and German of the national language. And then uh, yeah. the last, the last vote was uh, between the Turkey and the bald Eagle should have had this talk last week, I think <laughs> July 4th. But yeah, <laughs> but, well, yeah I just want to hear that debate. I want to go back in time and hear that. Debate. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> the Turkey is a far more regal bird than I the Eagle. <laughs> No one can rival the nobility of the wild turkey. <laughs> Look at Gentlemen. him freaking out in the corner, just like America. He probably <laughs> been, it'd be awesome if Ben Franklin drug it into the National Congress and he's like, <laughs> it's just flapping and feathers are going. <laughs> like, Behold the turkey. There is no more. There was no more ardent protector of his homeland <laughs> than the turkey. Look at his majestic waddle. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone grab relatives you hate and gather round. Yeah. <laughs> Pay homage to the turkey. He was. That tells you how bad his idea was because Ben Franklin was like a master diplomat. And he still couldn't convince everybody <laughs> that the turkey. He met his match with that argument. <laughs> he could not talk his way into making the turkey the national bird. No. Everybody's like, Ben, just sit down, buddy. Just sit it's, down, Ben. It's clear. Ben he split the, the vote, though. He did split the vote. I forgot how that's one vote. Well, let me talk to you about daylight savings time. Oh! <laughs> Here he goes again. Well, that mean we'd have the bald eagle for Thanksgiving then? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to stuff the eagle? <laughs> was there a band called the Turkeys? Probably. I that was a I'm going to take Jasmine backstage. Thank yeah, you. you have to so we can properly introduce her. Uh, <laughs> oh. You spoiled it, everybody. Sorry about the spoiling. Spoil it. Sorry that we've tipped oh, our man. hands. No, I mean, we've tipped all, our hands. It was only the, on the description. <laughs> but, you yeah, know. Pay no attention to the description of the show that we put out. <laughs> hey, while the credits are rolling, go invite a friend to stream this show. Yeah, live. <laughs> You gotta 
Stop typing, everyone. Go and bike, friends. <laughs> everyone everyone in the audience, leave late. now. It's hey, welcome late. to SKUs. My name is John. Uh, JT up there to my top right. Underneath high him five. is high Juwan five. Bonza DeVivo. Bonza. <laughs> and then Bonza. Brian, make me a Slurpee April. That's right. <laughs> we are... Uh, we are glad that you are with us tonight. If this is your first time, boy, you picked a great time to be here. Um, say. We are going to be, uh, this is, this is going to be a huge show. I don't know if I, well, How huge? I'm glad that you asked that question. You say and, huge uh, show? Normally, yeah, I said huge show and our producer is systematically <laughs> getting ready to show you how huge the show is. Uh, let me say, if this is representative of our typical show, oh my God. this this Mastodon here, then tonight's show looks a little something like oh. this. Oh, wow. it's going to eat oh. us all. Oh, oh. 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 Right under the insults. Oh. I don't want to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hold, hold tonight's show and cuddle it. I got actually, a picture of Melody holding a koala, and she is scared. Out of her mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most mellow animal on the planet, but it's got talons. When it oh, gets yeah. on you, it, yeah. it latches on. And she's like, <laughs> 1,100 people every year are killed by koalas. So. What? Wow. No. <laughs> I just made that up. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you ever jump off those, of like, the, those little uh, pencil clippers of the koala? You just like squeeze it and the arms open and you close it. Yeah. And, yeah. Those and, are so cool. Yeah. And if you ever put that on your finger, finger, it would like crush your finger. Like those things were. <laughs> That's why they latched that onto their jugular. That's as right. a joke. And they're like, oh gosh. Yeah. They're not even like bears. It. They're not even bears. They call them koala bears. They're marsupials, right? Yeah. Right. Man. But koala bears sounds cooler than koala marsupials. Yeah, you say right. koala. It does. Yeah, it does sound better. I do say they koala. sleep about what 22, yeah. 23 hours a day. So, wow. yeah, <laughs> they do legitimately. Yep, there's eucalyptus. <laughs> they get high on eucalyptus. Yeah. And they're, they're so just they're basically stoners. the they're the comedians of the animal world. Exactly. <laughs> What I thought was funny when they were telling us koala facts, they're like the koalas were almost extinct, and I'm like, well, they're just they're basically falling out of the trees. It's just like people could just pluck. <laughs> you guys want koala for for dinner? I guess that's I, what we're having. Are, are you thinking of koalas or sloth? Oh well, see, where did the the sloths are mostly <laughs> South America, right? Yeah. Koalas are, from what I understand, exclusively. Can you imagine should... being mauled by a koala? What that would be, <laughs> or a sloth? Ah, You'd worse. have to be. <laughs> you mauled by a sloth. Just, oh, no, it's going to get me. <laughs> Look oh, oh, yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, oh, sloth. Oh, oh. Uh, hitting the subscribe button. I, I read a, uh, a thing. I read an article get while, Brian, while Brian reacts to the sloth attack. It depends uh, on what kind of pot you're smoking, I guess, if you get mauled by a sloth. I read an article that the, uh, that the sloth – when they they are in South America, when they fall into the river, if they fall out of a tree, as they sometimes do, because what they will do is they're so slow that they they will have their uh, they'll have their their hand and they will reach over and grab their arm instead of a branch and <laughs> that hand and fall out of the Make tree. Sure the other and and oh. when they do that, when they fall into the water, it takes them an hour to drown. That's how slow their metabolism is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you're ever in a life and death struggle with a sloth, drowning is not the way to go. <laughs> do, do not to try to not drag him underwater. Yeah. No. <laughs> that needs to be in a movie, attacked yep. by, by sloth. Based by <laughs> sloth. It's like a... Oh, yeah. Uh, what is a group of sloth called? Are they, you know, is, is it like a... I don't yep. know. Slump? Yeah, like a slump of, of sloth. A crawl, yeah. Yep. Is it me that's out, or is it John and John and JT? It's, uh, it's JT's, just us. JT's back. It's just us. Did I go out? Uh, you're in and out. Really? Okay. I like that. That's a nice face that John's frozen on. Though. Oh, it he's is. gone. He was attacked by sloth. Uh, <laughs> sloth so. You know, you speak of the sloth, and he shall appear. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Death by sloth. <laughs> So that's where we left off again. Oh, here we go. So is there a would you rather <laughs> question with sloths that you could come up with? John looks like it's a 1980s like yearbook picture right now. Yeah, Just all faded. And <laughs> <laughs> or a David Byrne video from the early MTV days. Mm. Uh, you may ask yourself, 
Where did no. John Brannion go? <laughs> you may ask Same yourself, as it don't they have internet in Indiana? <laughs> and you may find yourself <laughs> waiting for him to return. J JT, you're <laughs> glitching too, man. I'm glitching too. Wow. Snake. Unless it's just yeah. Me. No, it's 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 not just you. All right. Well, I'm I, busy writing my sloth script now. I literally don't know if I'm back. You're back. Well, you were. And now you're back. <laughs> oh, now you're back. Okay, you're back. You're back. Yes. See, everything is fine on my end. And so, like, all of a sudden, you guys just start saying, oh, that's a nice face that John is frozen with. <laughs> Everything's fine. I can hear everything that you're saying. And, uh, yeah. Um, Brandon, you're back. <laughs> all right. So, uh, apparently, we better get the show on the road because it looks like I'm going to be um, out. So we need to uh, we need to sh get a shout out to our clickers yes. of the week, JT. Some people like to walk around in nothing but their knickers. We love that too, but most of all, we're crazy about the clickers. This week, clickers of the week in no particular order are <laughs> what? You were, what? You were frozen. Sorry, <laughs> but you were talking. The audio still came through. <laughs> So it was like a still picture with the audio. So we can over particular order. Pay no attention to the man in the upper left hand corner. R. Ron. Ron. Ron Avery. <laughs> Avery. <laughs> Avery. Really get that. And. Sydney Fry. Yeah. Thank you so much for your support. Ron Flawless and Cindy, we deeply appreciate it. If you too would like to have us mispronounce your name during a live show, <laughs> go to johnbrandian.com and become a comedy click member. Not only do you get the chance to um, maybe have your nick, your name butchered, but you can join our effort party, which takes place after the show. Yeah. Um, yay. You can uh, join our telegram group where we have all sorts of theological and <laughs> and stupid conversations um yeah. has it gotten theological yeah it <laughs> has that one it has that's cool um and so all of that is all of that is available to you for um the price of just a couple clicks all right we are super jazzed about having uh jasmine back on because every time she comes onto the show it goes in unpredictable directions <laughs> and <laughs> And mostly we learn things. We have Jasmine come on because she is our international connection to culture. And it's really when the only way we get here. It, it's right. When Jasmine's, yep. When Jasmine's not on, then the closest thing we have to culture is Juwan. So you see what I'm, <laughs> you see what I'm driving at. So ladies and gentlemen, um, put your emojis together and welcome back to SKUs, Jasmine Rubrock. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> All right, Jasmine. Oh, oh you um, muted. Here's, here's the thing that I want to make sure everybody understands about Jasmine, because I was shocked, shocked, I tell you, to find out that she has never seen the movie Quigley Down Under. <laughs> <laughs> it may be outlawed it might in be. Australia. There's nothing quite like coming on this show and having such a praised up introduction and then have a, such a come down like a roast. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> We're so glad to have you. Here. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we just treat you like one of the family. Uh, uh, not an elbow call. All right. Yeah. So uh, next time she comes on, she is going to have watched the movie so that she can give us a, an accurate review about whether or not it's it's correct so that's all that's all i'm yep. saying a scene by scene <laughs> appraisal of what's true and what's not true <laughs> right <laughs> scene by scene line by line every single at yep. minute 42 and 35 yep. seconds well, <laughs> another description <laughs> yeah. at this Has point at, yeah minute 53 and and 16 seconds they said this word and they pronounced it right. wrong they should have pronounced it like <laughs> clearly. They pronounced it like right, people we want. We want notes. We'll just get like a stenographer like for free. I'll, I'll just like I'll come back and be like, I have a few notes, and just like hold it up and just like <laughs> they pronounced it like like a New Zealander, and that's <laughs> totally wrong. 
Were we? Did we I talk about that? Before? I have seen Crocodile Dundee. It's required by law, I believe, right? Yeah, that's right. They have yeah. spot checks to make sure you have it. <laughs> <laughs> it. Is it swooping season right now, it Jasmine? Is not. It is not swooping season. That will be probably November. Oh. Oh. Plenty of time. What is swoop and season? Oh, oh, JT has so oh, much to learn. We should have sent him back to watch previous episodes. Do we, <laughs> we don't happen to have those slides, do we? No, not anymore. <laughs> that was anymore. like weird news once. Yeah. Like a year yeah. Ago. So, uh, JT, we tell him, him now, we? <laughs> yeah, tell him what swoop and season is because he won't believe us and it'll be fun to watch his face. <laughs> uh, we, we have birds called magpies. They're, they're black and white, kind of friendly birds. Um, except for one season, um, and it's magpie mating season, and they will swoop any intruders that that <laughs> come their way, and they are quite savage. They they will draw blood, um, and they're relentless. And so often Australians will wear ice cream buckets on their heads when they're riding their bike mm -hmm. uh, to keep the magpies away, or they have. Um, zip ties tied to their helmets i don't know if you call them zip ties but it's to keep them mm -hmm. from yeah uh dive bombing you and hitting you with their very sharp beak that's fantastic <laughs> oh it's more than you can imagine <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be videos floating around out there of people getting attacked i there feel are. like it's worth saving yeah. up for a plane ticket yeah just, just to, to go, go over yeah. there oh. and dress up like cosplay Mm -hmm. into <laughs> swooping season. Yeah, there must be some sort of like swooping con. This has got to be con yeah, there's got to be a yeah. contest on who's got the best. <laughs> oh, we got to buy con. that web domain, swoopcon. Yeah. <laughs> swoopcon. <laughs> Welcome to swoopcon 2022. That's right. <laughs> I'm magpie yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, we definitely magpies. We definitely need to spend a lot of cash on SwoopCon because we're rolling in <laughs> cash here. And use it. That'll be the follow-up to Vacay with the comics. We'll be SwoopCon. We're gonna do a, Does the uh, internet uh, take checks? <laughs> <laughs> All of our other ideas are paying off so mightily. That uh, I can't even sit straight. My wallet's so fat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, Jasmine is going to teach us how to speak Australian as as she always does. And so I'm going to I'm going to turn it over to you, Jasmine, because I'm probably going to get knocked offline in a second here. So um. awesome. Okay. So I thought I'd start with slides because getting yes. you guys to guess um, images can be an awful oh. And then I also get the chance to hear what you call them, if by any chance you call them things differently. So it's 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 a two way street here, guys. We want to share the learning around. <laughs> Not to be selfish. So um, I've picked uh, a couple of things that we we call, I think, differently to what you call them. Um, and if the awesome producer can go to the first slide, we can get started. Oh, oh my favorite first. <laughs> So we're guessing the Australian word for this. You you can say what they are, and I'll tell you if you're if I think you're accurate. But Sweat. what we call them as well. I want to call so those them uh, sweaties. The sweaties. <laughs> Jimmy Johns. Put <laughs> uh, on your Jimmy Johns <laughs> pants. They're definitely pants. not trousers. <laughs> it says pants. Um, there are specific well, type of pants. Um, I. I think you guys call them this. Um, Dax? Would they be Dax? Oh, close, close. They're, they're full grabbers. name. I think it's tracksuit pants. Oh. Tracksuit pants. That's not, we, that's not what we call them. Okay. Trackies. They call them trackies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember we, from last time, you just shorten everything with the E's at the end of it. So like, you get tricky. Actually, we if Brian and John put their heads together, they'll figure this one out. Oh, I said... Ooh. Uh, Jimmy Johns. <laughs> talking Tracky about Johns. Tracky and then the other Johns. thing I said was uh, ankle ankle grabbers. <laughs> Ankies. <laughs> Ankies. <laughs> how could you call? What do you, how would you call that an ankle grabber? They grab your ankles, John. <laughs> yeah, they got the elastic at the bottom. There's there's, there's more than anklets. Gosh. <laughs> Foot chokers. <laughs> why wouldn't you call them why wouldn't you call them thigh grabbers? <laughs> <laughs> Waist and ankle grabbers. grabbers. 
They're loose around the thighs. Yeah, you really got to get off the ankle ankle tangent, guys. It's just not. It's just not. Sorry. There. Sorry. So it. I so I, I didn't hear what JT and Juwan <laughs> said. Wait, um, I said I said Dax, but I was. Yeah, uh, it was Dax. JT. So JT yeah. and Brian put their heads together. They'll get. They'll get Dax. This. Dax. Track, track Dax. Oh, he's so close. Sweat track Dax. You mean, you mean street with sweat. street Dax. Dax <laughs> Slax. Dax Slax. Slack, 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 I said track back, so I let the Y off, so I wasn't uh, exactly right. That was close. Tracky Dax. Uh, What's the CKS. Trex. No, Tracky Dax. Even the producer's like, I, I, I didn't I mean, we, I'm going <laughs> to speak Australian. Actually, you actually, know what? <laughs> Guys, Dax. Olivia, Olivia in is in the comments. She's there to, to support us. Tracky Dax. Uh, what? No, she's oh, there to verify that I do the right thing. There we go. <laughs> tracky Dax. I'm buying Tracky Dax. I'm walk yeah. my Tracky Dax. No one, no one drops gonna... the Y though. That has to have the Y on the end. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip into me Tracky Dax and take a, <laughs> take a walk oh, about. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> has it been that kind of day, John? You it's put on the Tracky Dax. Dax. <laughs> tracky Dax a, day. It's just a rough day. You, Go home exactly. and put on your tracky decks. That's an igloo. Uh, you guys yeah. call it yeah. cooler, cooler, I believe. Yeah. Cooler. It's a yeah. cooler. Yeah, not a lot of thought went in it. <laughs> what does this thing do? <laughs> it keeps it cooler. It keeps it cooler. <laughs> then the outside. I think the, the New Zealand word for this, I'll, I'll, there can be extra points. Extra oh. non points. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, was oh, the, I was hoping you'd ask about the New Zealand word. That is a, uh, a bevy carry. A <laughs> bevy carry? Yeah. It's my, it's my carry your bevies. Carry your bevies in it. It's for um, when you a put in, you get carry. your your uh your cold cuts and you put them in the food purse. You could call it. You could call yeah, it. A camp, you could call it a camp dunny. Grab the lid in my food purse. A, I haven't heard uh, that one before, JT. But bucket. It's a tracky <laughs> cooler. We were wrong. So it's it's not a cooler, but let's see a tracky. There's no way I would have gotten tracky Dax. I wouldn't have accidentally <laughs> stumbled into tracky Dax. Ten liter. My ten liter bug. Most people don't stumble into tracky Dax, John. You actually have to put some thought into putting those on. A vittle uh, bucket. Well, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Is it a, if you put if you put warm stuff in, it'll keep it warm. Is it called a warmer? Oh it, a, a no, warmer? but I like the use of like the opposite thing that we do. So uh, yeah. Props for that, but no. <laughs> Icy oh, yeah. holdery. Ice holdery thing. <laughs> uh, do you remember? Us lunch about, lunch about, about that's great. Uh, a bread. Uh, that's what you do when you go yeah, walk for lunch. You go on a, a lunch about. Lunch about. <laughs> hey, yeah, you guys want to go on a uh, lunch about? Hey, grab a lunch about. Hey, you, Jackman, you just, <laughs> just invited me on a lunch about. <laughs> Could you call it a stubby cubby? I think it. Uh, oh, what was that? A stubby cubby? Could you call it that? Oh no, but that was pretty good. <laughs> we actually we actually call it by its brand name, which isn't. I was really mean it's and didn't not on there. The brand, yeah, I didn't pick the right brand. Uh, Willow. <laughs> Willow. Her name we, is both. Alora Dannon. She's just a baby. <laughs> just, I think it's just me and Brian on that one. Yeah, three people Ooh. know that reference. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a food seat. Food uh, seat. We call them. We call them Eskies. It's an Eskies. Oh. Eskies. Okay. It's an Eskimo, isn't it? The brand okay. is called Esky. Esky. Oh, the and, brand is Esky. Okay. Yeah, and okay. you, that's the brand is Esky, and we call them Eskies. <laughs> I don't think anybody doesn't call them Esky if you're not New Zealander. What's the ad campaign? It's like take them out on your boat because Eskies float. <laughs> your sister, your sister says if you're a Kiwi, then you call it a Chelly Ben. Chelly Ben. Chelly Ben. <laughs> <Chili> ben. <laughs> You stole my thunder. Yes. Put, it's a, put a, a chili bean. 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 Chili Chili bean. 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 Chili b
I put the ice. That's so much funner than cooler. Yeah. Would you put the ice in a chili bin? The ice in the chili bin. <laughs> what? What's <laughs> that? <laughs> a chili bin. In the chili bin. <laughs> Esky's pretty cool too, though. Yeah, like Esky, Esky as well. is way cooler than cooler. Put some ice in the Esky. I could be wrong, but I've heard I've heard some Americans call this different to what we do. So, well, we call clothes pins. Clothes pins. Okay. Yes, you do. <laughs> Or, um, yes, I said the yeses. <laughs> and no, gator, gator, gator clips. <laughs> Puts up the clothes with the gator clips. Oh, Joanne, I love how you just over Australian. The clamps. <laughs> <laughs> I get the get the clamps. Put up the clothes. He's going, he's going clothes Scottish. Clamps. Clamps. Clothes, clothes, clamps. Clamps. clothes clamps. clamps. Australian Scottish. Get the <laughs> tricky <laughs> decks. Put up the tricky decks. <laughs> Grab the clamps and put up the tricky decks. Are soaking wet. <laughs> it's the only way we're gonna get them dry. Get me a coat while you're pinchy, at it. Pinchy. I like pinchy, pinchy hangers. Pinchy. Pinchy hangers is that right? Oh, that looks right. Pinchy that hangers. Like that's right. Butchery of Australian and New Zealand accent. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, they get messed up. I like them both. I like them both too much. You guys have got to think a little simpler. Simpler. Mm. Oh, okay. Like uh, uh, spring let's clips. see. That's not Clothes hanger. Pinter. Blind grabbers. Blind <laughs> grabbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, I was say, it's like three, three letters, guys. Three letters short. Small. Oh, jeez. Pin. <laughs> Pinches. <a> pin. <laughs> Close. It's not a pin. Pin. No. Pen, uh, a pen. Oh. <laughs> a cat. A dog. <laughs> <laughs> doing all three other words. Going through and counting Pot. the letters. Wait, that has got four letters. Bin. The a pan. By. Lit. Mm. And bug. A pop. Ooh. <laughs> that looks right. Pegs. Pegs. Oh, pegs. Pegs. Oh, square pegs. Pegs. Pig, 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 the clothes, the line, pig. We, we should have gotten that. We should have gotten pig. Uh, yeah, wife, we were just starting from the beginning of the alphabet. Your wife's name is Peggy. Peggy. That's really confusing. We'll come back to pig, you. pig, give me a pig. <laughs> yeah, don't pig tell her to hold up the clothes because that will really <laughs> make her angry. <laughs> pig, I got a chili bin full of pigs. I go Ooh, dry pigs. the clothes. She'll hang up the laundry. What? Not, pig. not pigs. Not pigs. pigs. No pigs. It's not a pig, it's a peg. That is a New Zealand accent thing. Yes, pig. you're right. If it was, pig. you would say pig. pig. <laughs> no, how do you know? I feel like we need to, I need to invite my, my Kiwi friends on here because yeah. I don't think I'm doing them a very good service as an Aussie. You can't do a good New Zealand accent? <laughs> I, I can if I'm quoting Korg. Oh, Korg. Yeah. Korg. Tried, to, Korg. tried to start a revolution, but I ran out of pimplets. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could have some Kiwis come on and defend themselves if they. <laughs> I'll 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 talk to my people. You talk to your people. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you have more people than I do. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Lou. Uh, a Lou. Oh yeah, is it Lou? You, we Lou. do. We do use Lou. Lou. That's a Dunny. Yes. Oh, oh my God. What? That. That's I couldn't what? even have fun with it. Yeah, you got two points, I think. Didn't you say track? Tracky? A lavy. I know I said track. I didn't say track. He's got, he's got insider knowledge. He's got, he's got someone on the inside, yeah. I think. He's already got it. Alexa. <laughs> what did you, what did you call it? A gunny? A duggy? A, a gunny? Dunny. A dunny. dunny. Which hmm. sounds a lot like what goes on in there. <laughs> dunny. A dunny or a dungy? Dunny. D dungy. A uh, dungy. dungy. Uh, come on, dungy. <laughs> the rejected Shrek title. Uh, Point Shrek it to Mia. the dungy. That'll do, dungy. <laughs> dungy. That'll need do. Do. There it is. Uh, Point it to the dungy. The Australians you... won't let it, let it go. <laughs> Are you dunny? You dunny? Well, How did you dunny. know that, JT? Uh, traveled. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have an Australian glossary. Oh, yes. is it? I didn't. I, I don't know there whether to frown cool. upon you for cheating or whether to award you for being prepared. Yeah, I'm not sure either. If it's a book, I would allow it, but if yeah. it's on the internet, <laughs> if you had a big like Webster's dictionary size, you're not flipping through. 
then I'd give it. Yeah, to well, I was I was this close to getting the Aussie Bible and reading you a Bible story. Uh, <gasps> oh, wow. That would be cool. <laughs> Maybe next be, time. Could you be closer? Oh, I so <laughs> want to hear the Aussie Bible. Do we it's, got a story you want to hear? I want to hear the king of Moab the next time the, the judges. <laughs> that's the story I want to hear. That's, uh, that's a speeder. <laughs> but I could be First one out of the bat every time. I'm like, it's just so far removed from what I thought your first guess would be. <laughs> it's a speeder. Okay, so we right? just call it a bike. Yeah. So okay. Just, just with an Australian yeah. accent. Then if I just said bike. That's close enough. Oh, psycho. Um, but there is another word we use for it. Cycle. A roller. A wheelie. A roller. A a peddler. A peddler. That's another rejected Batman oh, villain. Peddler. So peddler. Oh, My seat's too high on the peddler. Peddler, peddler has How do you the take the seat down? of what, what we would call it. Uh, it, 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 it the meaning is close, but, Sp but not spinner. quite. Sinner. There's a, you know, spin class is the. Okay, the, good. Push She's already your shaking foot her head. So you move forward. Cycle. Mm. Yeah. It's kind, of what, it kind of what you would call it if it was a kid's bike and they and it didn't have pedals. A trikey. A trainer. A scooter. No, okay. That didn't help at a, all. A push a pusher. <laughs> oh, a, a, oh, John, push. John, follow that. Follow that. A pusher. Push, uh, push me, push. Push push. That's push. A foot pusher. A push no! foot. <laughs> <laughs> a push a push wheeler. Push pedal. A push pedal, a push, a push and shove, a push, a push and poke, a push bin, a chili push bin. Uh, pedal pusher. It's we we call him a push bike. Ah, uh, push bike. A push and if you bike. want to shorten it, if you want to shorten it, it's just a pushy. A pushy. <laughs> a pushy. <laughs> I did it all for the pushy. The uh, one fell on my, <laughs> fell right on my pushy. You gotta watch out when the cars pull out. You fall down on your pushy. Push yeah. bike. A that push hurts. bike. That you Why? Pedal. Why? You, you don't push it. You pedal it. Why would you call it a push bike? Why would you? What's I wrong with you? I think. I think it's because you push your feet down on the pedals. Push it down. No, you, it's a push bike. It's not a motorbike. There so how do you how do you okay. um, so if you okay. had to like push your car? <laughs> would you just get there on your feet and just get on your, your back and just push with your feet? It's a push car. <laughs> pushy. It's a pushy. It's a pushy. It. I've got a flat jump on, jump on your pushy and just fang it to the next slide. So what do you call what do you call the wheels? Are those called tires on your pushy? Or are they Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's a that's, that's a, a it, it's a not a not pushy, a quad yeah. not push. A, a, a pulley. That's a pulley, a flat pulley. <laughs> flat back pulley. Flat bed. A flat bed. A flat <laughs> <laughs> Shrucky. Shrucky. Everybody's just sticking a Y at the end of our sheet. Kari. We've learned through three four appearances. Just put a Y. Shorten what it is and put a Y there. And you're put a Y at the end. Look, a Toyota. This is such a hard language to teach because you guys get a hold of like a key, key, you know, rule. And then the next slide is just like completely not that rule. It's quiet and like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Half a lorry. <laughs> oh, is it a, a lorry? lorry? No, that was a good. That was a good hack. That's that was a good hack at it, though. English. Uh, a uh, her. Nope. Oh, nope. Holy. A, a glider. I got that a wreck. Super. I got right. a wreck, and I had to put my car on the holy. The holy. <laughs> we, do you guys call that a Lamborghini? Atriana, you should know. Mercedes. <laughs> we had this conversation. <laughs> we did. Uh, no, it, no, it's a, it's actually a three-letter word. Oh, a three-letter word. Another one, but not a peg. Car. A peg. A peg. Are you gonna? <laughs> are you gonna put something up here and just? It's gonna be it's, like car. 
<laughs> that what you guys no, we call it a car. That would have been like funny. Guys. But no, this is we we call John Brandy those cars cars here. We don't pronounce right. the R because we're Australian. Right. But uh, this this is a as a particular kind of vehicle. It's called a rat. Yes, Josiah got it. <laughs> a Ute. Yes. Whoa! Oh, like utility. Oh, you know what? Yes. That was you in a crossword know. puzzle I did recently, and I didn't <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm, that's I'm, I'm impressed you do Australian I feel crossword so puzzles. Foolish. Today. Yeah. Are you, a Ute. You download Australian crossword puzzles. No, no, it's it another it was level. A, it was just down. a regular one. <laughs> I do. But it didn't say anything about Australian. It just said another word for a truck. I do like Russian oh, uh, puzzles. Yeah, I'm so impressed. You're so prepared, even though you don't. You know <laughs> I you didn't were. even know it. <laughs> yeah. the, <Ute. laughs> the two Utes. Yeah, hey, the two we Utes. Got, we crashed the Utes. <laughs> hey, Alrighty, right? so, I think I've got one more. Oh, yeah, you almost more. sounds that's it. Northeastern petrol. Mm. That's yeah. the petrol station. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know my, I know my <laughs> foreign yes, gas uh, station. <laughs> I think it's a it petrol station. E, we this don't just call the shell station. <laughs> you don't call it that. Brand. The gassy. gassy. We don't, we don't call it that. Brand. I, 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 I feel sorry, Shelly. sorry, but no, again. We're breaking our own rules here. We don't call it by the brand. Unless it's a oh. BP, we'll call it a BP. Oh. <laughs> BP. Um, Fueler. It's, 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 it's a Fueler. 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 I like <laughs> Russ's Ruby. I like Russ's guess. <laughs> what a, I didn't Russ see Noonan. it. You got to put it up, producer. <laughs> what Russ, oh, what gas Russ hole. The gas, gas hole. hole. <laughs> 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 you gotta pull your ute into the gas hole. <laughs> that does not sound right <laughs> in any language. <laughs> I am so sorry I didn't think of that myself. Oh. <laughs> gas hole. I'm gonna buy a gas station and call that's it. That's the that. that's that the Boston is. accent. Yeah. Stop and fill. Stop and fill your car. Luke's solution is just to spell everything phonetically. <laughs> <laughs> Stop and fumey, the fumey. Oh well, I will give you a hint that the the full name, kind of like how the the full name for the vehicle was a utility vehicle, and we shortened it to you. Uh, oh. The full name that we would call these would be a service station. Servi. Servi. <laughs> Close. No, that's what the. Never mind. Servo. <laughs> What? Yeah, Servo. 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 Here's what Servo. I feel like's been happening Servo. this whole time. I feel like JT <laughs> knows the answer right off. Yeah. <laughs> just letting everybody squirm yep. until he gets desperate. And then he goes, I know the answer. <laughs> I, think, I think JT I mean, has, has Servo. friends in Australia. <laughs> Tom Servo. JT is like the producer of Jeopardy. You know, everyone else guesses. He's got the judges. blue cards. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, the servo is something totally different over yeah. here. A servo yes, is a. Yes, I found that out because I Google imaged it and looked for servo, and I had all these little electronics yeah. come up, and I'm like, yeah, "That's not what I'm after." Yeah. But then, if I put Aussie on the end of it, then yep. all the fuel stations come up. <laughs> yep. And so boom. that should tell you what the normal way to say things is. <laughs> <laughs> Google. <laughs> That would be a very quick way to find out, like whatever whatever we'd call it. Just write in the word and then Tracky write Dex. Aussie at the end, and then you <laughs> find out. <laughs> well, uh, it was. So, yeah. How do we do? I I had uh, I had one Did thing keep that score? I, really, I didn't keep score, but I think JT won. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. He, he sure, gets just, all the consistent points. Just give it to the new guy. <laughs> I will right, say that tracky dax is the way to really say it. really important sweat. Australian phrase that I want to teach you guys. Okay. And I'll let you try and guess the context that we would use it in. But this is very difficult to explain. And I've, <laughs> had, friends had, I've had friends that have had international friends come over and spend time with them uh, for a while in Australia. And it took them a long time to figure out the context of the way to use it. And the, and the, and the phrase or the name is old mate. I'll write okay, it. Okay. I'm going to have to see. All yeah. right. Old oh, mate. Old oh, mate. Right. You're sending it to the producer. So all? the producer can put it up. Do we on need the, to tell you yeah. what that means? 
Yeah, the less uh, old mate, the old, old mate, mate. It's old mate, old friend. Old friend. Old, yeah. Where yeah. where do you think? Mate. Old mate. This is a old fairly mate. common one in Australia, and we we use it we use it in specific contexts, and it does it does mean something. So where where do you think we would use that phrase, or how we would use that phrase, or oh, old mate. whatever? Old mate. Like, I would say yeah, it's for like a best friend. It's your wife. <laughs> old mate. I was talking no, to the old too, mate last night. <laughs> that's too easy. <laughs> talking, it is mate. too easy, yeah. The old the old, old mate. mate. I'm gonna say old the old the old mate is uh the last pair of shoes that you had before you bought your new ones. That's pretty good. It's like <laughs> no, I had to throw no. I had to throw the old no. mate away. It no, does it does refer away. to a person. It oh. does refer to a person. Mm -hmm. Your old mate. Your old mate. How would you mother. I'm gonna say it's a mother. Oh, oh, Julia. Someone you don't oh. know their name. Oh. Pretty good. Pretty good. Is so that right? um, I actually I actually went to Urban Dictionary because I wanted to see if anybody knew how to do it. Urban Dictionary said um, it's a brilliant Australian invention used to purchase <laughs> someone that you are somehow connected with but don't personally know. Oh, okay. So Okay. If it, it has to be somebody you're connected with, like but, Kevin Bacon, like a Facebook friend, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> but you often use it if it's somebody you, you don't know or somebody that you're referring to. So, if I if I was in a shopping center and I didn't know where an item was, and someone pointed out like a desk clerk or something, that would you would use the phrase, Go and ask old mate over there. Like, okay. like somebody, okay. to, oh, somebody to connect with, <laughs> or if you're talking to somebody. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to old mate, someone you don't want to actually refer to their name or you don't know their name, then it's old mate. Okay. okay. My dude. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Probably very, very similar. I wasn't sure what you guys did. Homeboy, yeah. That. Like, I was like, pal or what? Yeah. You can do like homeboy. Go talk to homeboy over there. Partner. Right. Homeboy? Yeah. yeah. I, just I was talking to Joker over there. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. JT's having troubles. <laughs> Try it again, JT. You got Gerbil. Yeah, I just like, said we. I've used. I've heard people use Joker. Like I just talked to the Joker oh, over here, and he said, oh, yeah, that's a it. southern thing." Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I you ever would old, like be offensive if you said that here. You yeah. ever old mate somebody that thought they were a good friend of yours, and you're just like stranger. Yeah, you wouldn't use it for a good friend. Well, like if they like if they thought they were a better friend than you did. <laughs> and then and you found that. out. Yeah. Australian people yeah. walk out in flip flops. Oh Mike. She just called me old Mike. <laughs> We've been known you for you 20 years. some food anyway. Oh my down the road. Yeah. I like oh, that because it has kind of a it has kind of a warmth and familiarity to it. You know, you're, it's, you, I'm not talking to that stranger. It's better than that dude. You know, it's like, it's, it's old mate. It's, it's an old mate. It's an old mate. Less mine. insulting than Joker, like those Southerners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, it was interesting talking to a friend of mine trying to introduce his American friend to this because every time they walk down the street, they'd, they'd bump into somebody or he'd talk to somebody at the, the, the desk clerk or the, the checkout person and he'd walk away and he'd say to his friend, was that old mate? <laughs> you're he's like no no that's not how it works. <laughs> he's like old he's mate now a name tag that says old mate yeah, uh, everybody's just, everybody's old mate now yeah, he's old mate just substitute homeboy <laughs> and you're good <laughs> bro <laughs> over there or right. everybody's an old mate to somebody old do mate. we have time to go through a couple of phrases yes awesome all right plenty of um I'll, i'm gonna i'm gonna have pity on the producer write a couple of these in um <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first one. Hey, Brian, make right. your keyboard <laughs> sounds. <laughs> Clickety clack. If, if I was to say to you that I'm flat out like a lizard drinking, what would that mean? Flat out like a You're lizard. Really drinking. tired? Flat lizard out drinking? Like a lizard drinking. Well, I'm flat out like a lizard drinking. So you're, de you're exhausted or dehydrated because they don't drink. Mm. I was gonna say when you're on the beach, you What do you mean they don't drink? What's the matter with you? Tan, well, they don't drink a lot. Tan on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> That's very New Zealand. The lizards I'm don't gonna throw drink. On, I'm gonna throw on some sunblock have, and get flat out like a lizard. You, have, you haven't heard of LA Lizards Anonymous? 
<laughs> Lizards Anonymous. <laughs> Two jokes at once. Does it mean hot? Does it mean what, you're hot? What it mean? No, you're, you're running no. really fast. Is it you're running no, really fast? No. no, it doesn't mean thirsty. It doesn't mean thirsty. It doesn't no. mean drunk either. Oh, it, uh, like a lizard somebody drink. punches you when they lay you out. Uh, like a lizard. You get punched drink. in a fight. They laid me nope. out flat <laughs> like a lizard drinking. <laughs> no, let's say I'm trying I to picture got anyone right. I'm trying to picture lizards drinking and what they look like. And so yeah, so maybe you're maybe you're licking your lips. <laughs> you're going you're going all Is out. That it? You're like exerting max effort. Oh, oh, I'm so oh, dehydrated. Oh, Brian, Brian, yeah. say that again. You're you're going all out, like exerting oh. a lot of effort, max effort. Oh. Is that it? Flat I'm gonna, I'm, right. gonna give that, I'm gonna give that to Brian. Yay. Yay. You're flat Good. out. That means you're like at top speed and you're, yes, that's you're really busy. So if you've ever, ah. I, I believe if you watch if you watch a lizard drinking, like it's really fast. Oh, okay, like it's really fast. Yeah. So if you're flat out like a lizard drinking, did you? I was in the ballpark. <laughs> yeah, so. I was in the ballpark like a lizard drinking. I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like like Don't a lizard know. smoking a pipe. <laughs> oh, I'm I was in the ballpark <laughs> like a lizard smoking a pipe. It's like it's like you'd say uh, you're like a long tailed cat in a room full of rockers. Yep. E Wait, can I get that again? It's like kind of like a long tailed cat in a room full of rockers. <laughs> that's not. Uh, I don't think it's related. That's, that's basically you know, nervous, though, isn't it? You're nervous, nervous, nervous as a room. Would it be, would it be like a one, like a one legged man in a butt kicking contest? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's the one. Okay. I've right. never that's heard one. that before. That's busier than a one armed paper hanger. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Yep. A brick layer, one arm brick layer. That's one arm brick layer. <laughs> we, we a one arm, a one arm, a one legged um, push bike. <laughs> pushy. <laughs> one legged, one -legged, one -legged pushy pushy rider. One legged pushy rider. Yeah. With wearing tracky dacks. <laughs> all right on your pushy. Everything. Everything we learned, all in one sentence. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, right, we nailed that one. Okay. The word, the word fang. So if you're going to fang something or take it for a fang, what does that mean? Throw it take, away. See, fang. I thought you were going to, I thought it was eating, like biting it when you said fang. You used it earlier and I don't remember <gasps> the context. Yes, she I did use it earlier. She did like, use oh. it before. Now it's, I feel dumb. And it's I totally one, take understood it out for what she fang. said. Yeah. Move it out of the way. Take it for a fang. Take it for a fang. Take it. Are you, um, have you taken it for a fang? <laughs> have for you? A fang. It was both a bio and a twist. Does it have you anything you to do with Dracula? Fang? You take it, it for a fang? Does it have anything to do with Dracula? No, <laughs> not at all. Was, was it the um, was oh, it the when you cooler? throw it? It's when you throw it. I'm going to fang the boomerang. It's just Run was go close. Right out. Oh, what'd you say? Run was close. To be reckless? Mm, <laughs> run. Take it out for a spin. Oh, and the real esky, a drive, yes. a drive, joy a joyride. Yes, okay. yes. A yep. test drive. How is Fang related? Look at them. I don't actually know. What's the, and what's the etymology? <laughs> I I will do my research and find out where. <laughs> so if you get in a vehicle and you want to take it for a Fang, you're taking it for a test drive, and you're going to. I was going to say flog it, and that's another. Another phrase. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like burn out, right? Like make the tires yeah. spin. Off. Gonna go for a fang, spin. And if you fang it, you 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 put your foot down, and so you want to go really fast. So oh. I guess you would say throttle it. Would you say throttle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that would work. Floor okay. it. Floor well, you it. Could yeah, say, you could say you could say take it for a fang it. and go flat out like a lizard drinking. Yeah, <laughs> you could <laughs> take it out for a fang. Yeah. Take your pushy for a fang with your tracky dacks on, guys. <laughs> fang Don't want to go it without those. <laughs> fang it up to the server and buy a bubble o bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah should flog it. almost. Should it. <laughs> those words right. just flew over my head and hit the back of the set of the letter. <laughs> That's what they did, and I have no idea what just happened. They knocked over the icy machine. <laughs> next time, next time I'm gonna level up because I've shown you some pretty cool. Like, assuming that I get it next time, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a sentence and tell you to explain to me what I said because there should be enough phrases in it you can connect the dots. Oh yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Right. Here's another one. I Google Translate. I remember to put it in the chat. JT's like, do it now. We're ready. <laughs> 
I think JJ's had a little, a little bit, a little bit of practice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's... If I, if I, if I come a gutter, what Gut. have I done? Gutzer or Guster? You Guster. come a gutter, come a gutter. Guster. Ready for it. No, Gutzer. Come a guster. You you really you really Guts cried it. a lot. Mm. I'm gonna nope. say you're yeah, like that's a geyser. Full force, like like a like a gust of wind. Even though it's a gut, it says gut sir, but <laughs> come you a flew into a rage. I come a, 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 a gust. I guess. Come a gut. You, come, it, come, 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 You fly come, at somebody's come, stomach come. first. <laughs> <laughs> like I was in that wrestling match, and I. Pushed up against the ropes and I come a guts a right at him. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked him flat out like a lizard drinking. <laughs> that's a good move. If I ever get accepted in the WWF, I'm, that's my move. Come <laughs> it's a, it's a oh, nope, nope. Or a belch. Is, is this come a guts? Is, is it to fall apart? Is it to have a nervous breakdown? You could focus on the breakdown part. You do with the dunny. <laughs> no, come not. Was that, oh, was that the dunny? <laughs> like come, come apart as a scene type good. of thing. Uh, it could be in can it could be in correlation with the pushy. With the pushy. Mm. Uh, uh, with the pushy. You're going downhill and you lose control. That's, yes. Uh, are you losing, so losing control? control? You come unglued. It's a crash. Oh, I'm a gust. Or you, you trip over and you fall down. And oh, okay. Do you have any idea how many other Australian words I had to dodge to try and say that? <laughs> was, what happens when you stack it? Dang it, that's another one. No, I don't <laughs> say it. <laughs> stack it. A so crash. stack it, come a gutter. I was riding my pushy down the hill flat out, and then I come a gutter and I grab it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That is awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh, someday I hope that it can roll off of my tongue like that. That would be. <laughs> you see Stamp. a toddler, they're walking around and they trip over something and they lay on the ground. Oh, you come a gutsa, did you? <laughs> did you? You're okay. <laughs> did you? Off the push, you have to pop it away. <laughs> you come a gutsa, did you? That's like something you'd say to a kid when I like fell out of a tree just to make them feel better. Yep. Yep. It's not you gotta make sure that the tea comes first Gutsa. though. Gutsa. 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 Yeah. Actually yeah. you can probably pronounce it like this. Gutsa. Yeah, some people yeah. pronounce yeah. it guster. I would yeah, totally yeah. do that. Uh, yeah. Those those people are insane. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> guster. Brian would do that. I would totally do that. <laughs> Oh, gutsa. 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 All caps. All caps. Gotta pronounce gutsa. it in gutsa. Gutsa. <laughs> Come a gutsa. Yeah. Gutsa. Stack it. Come a cropper is another one. Oh, I didn't think cropper. Yeah. Is it cropper. different oh, or is that related? Um, oh, I know that. Oh, oh I know that. Wobbly. Oh, you know that, Fred. Ooh, um, I did localization for a while, and it was uh, I, it was UK. Um, it was uh, they say that yep. in UK as well, and I yeah, cannot would. remember for life me. We're coming. Uh, say it again. Is. Oh, it's come, the same come thing, Brian. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the same thing. That's what I was asking. I, was I knew that. I totally knew that. I was just making sure <laughs> that everybody else. Just testing, just testing. Just making sure that everyone else knew so that yeah. you all felt better about yourself today. Guts, I should be on your battle cry. Guts. Uh, we, yeah, we need to have an Australian and Chubby Bruce who always says, who's always coming to Guts. It is coming to Guts. Great. He's oh, oh, he's coming to Guts. <laughs> Uh, All right. uh, if, yeah, if Jasmine supplies the uh, Jasmine supplies the lines. We can certainly put a Australian never, in there. We never we know what Outback Bob is saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys know what a cactus is, but what does it mean in Australia? A cactus. Sticky situation. Mm. It's when the cat latches onto you. <laughs> <laughs> Walk it's in the house and he just jumps at you. Oh, the cactus. It's I've a cact cactus. It's when you get mauled by a koala bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's no. the usage? Can I have a usage? You can have it in a sentence. Um, yeah. This won't help. 
Yeah, no. it will. It might. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, that I, attitude. Man, I would watch the TV, but the remote's cactus. Lost. It's in the couch. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> if anything's in the broken. couch, it's, oh, it's broken. Someone, someone said broken. Is that Brian? <laughs> it's Brian. Oh. Well done, Brian. It comes That's a cropper. I was like, it means come a cropper. This changes it's in the couch. They have a they have a word for something that's in the couch. Cactus. <laughs> oh my, yes. oh, my pocket <laughs> changes in is cactus. Oh it's my cactus. pocket changes. <laughs> I found an M and M cactus. <laughs> Oh it doesn't cactus. mean missing. It means broken. So, <laughs> please, that's cactus. why. That's why we don't remember these things. Is because yeah. we're not paying attention to the proper definition. Of these <laughs> yeah, we just go on with our own. And she's like, "No, that's not what it means nope, at she's all." She's like, oh, "You're ruining my language. Please stop." <laughs> kaput. Kaput. That's. Yep. I guess yeah. you know. yep. kaput. Cactus, and in English, it would it, mean in the couch. It means it's, no. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> oh, it won't no, even actually, move. no, no, you would use the word bung in that in that sense. So uh, my if, hip is bung. No, you <laughs> I've nope. got a bung hip. Would oh, be bung the hip. Way to say. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a bung leg, I've got a bung I'm trying, elbow. Try to learn. <laughs> but this is good. You learn by using it wrongly. <laughs> no, just makes me use it wrong the next time. Juwan is absolutely fearless. That's why it's so fun to do this with Juwan because he doesn't hesitate. He just like boom, first thing, first thing in his mind. <laughs> JT is trying to say something, but <laughs> he's calling from the cactus. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's, he's in the couch. I wanted to hear what he had to say. His Wi Fi is bung. He's got bung Wi Fi. <laughs> 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 Correct, John. I had to switch around. It's kind of like when you learn adjectives in another language, you got to put the adjectives last or something. Okay, bung Wi Fi. <laughs> got it. So got it. Your TV uh, cactus, it's broken. Another another phrase you could use is if something dies is to say um, it's carked it. Carked so, it. The, see, okay, I'll write it. Hold on. <laughs> Type so, it out, please. <laughs> ED. YouTube's gonna oh like a bird or a pet or something. something. Like uh, oh, like no. JT's internet. Carked it. Yes, it just no, carked it. it. His internet yeah. just carked it. That was I so nice. Did he give us an object lesson right then? All of you people sending us emails at C A R K. C A R K. So, yeah. Yep. Karka. Karked. Kark, karked it. Karked. Karked. Kark, kark, it. Kark, kark, an American R in it. Karked it. Karked it. Yeah. Get a kark kark it. it. Oh. <laughs> it means it died. Yeah. It died. Karked kark it. It cacked it. Oh, the fish cocked <laughs> it. The fish cocked it. TV cocked it. It cacked us. The koala cocked it. <laughs> I'm so tempted to tell my koala not jokes right now. It's not funny. Oh, uh, we can go for one. I think if yeah. you tell the jokes, they will be funny. I can go for one. Okay, yeah. but they're not jokes. I hope you guys know what not jokes are. Oh yeah. Nope. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I only know jokes. Why, have... did the, why did the koala fall out of the tree? I don't. Know. Why did the koala fall out of the tree? Because he cocked it. <laughs> he cocked it because it was dead. That's correct. Hey, yeah. John got it. You get extra why points did, for using. Why did yeah. the second koala fall out of the tree? Mm -hmm. He was holding on to the first koala. He was stapled to the first koala. <laughs> I was going to say stapled, but <laughs> why did Stake. the third koala fall out of the tree? Mm -hmm. Third koala. I mm -hmm. because uh, Autumn oh, here. Boy. <laughs> peer pressure. Uh, peer pressure. <laughs> peer pressure. Why? Why did the man fall off his pushy? <laughs> well, there was a ute in his way. He was course. hit by a falling koala. Like, 
You want to hit my dead koala? Yay! <laughs> Love it. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Why would you hesitate to tell those jokes? Those are fantastic. Uh, those I found are... my people, guys. I found yeah. my people. They don't fly in Australia, but here in America. Yeah, we, we eat that stuff up. We eat up dead koalas here in America. We can't get enough of it. That's right. Uh, do we have time for any more, John? Yeah, we got time for another one. Got time it's for a, one we're, we're all out of time, and then we got to go to the effort party. But we get we can do one more as okay. a as a bonus. We did have some trivia, I think, didn't you? I did. I did. Do you want to oh. do you want to do the trivia? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to steal all your thunder. Just some of it. Well, <laughs> you've stole most of my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> you no, realize, just had... you know, we just keep generating more, even just when we have conversations. So <laughs> um, we're never going to run out. And the only reason I had the trivia set aside was uh, in in case we okay. ran out, <laughs> in case we ran out of words to say. Which I should have known better. Um, so but, yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more phrase. Okay. And if, we'll save trivia okay, for next time. This, let me write this down. If if someone's hacking on you, what are they doing? Hacking on you, insulting Coughing. you. Talking behind your back. Mm. Here's a good nitrate ribbing. Hey, stop yes. that on me. Yes. Ooh. Juan, you just nailed that straight oh, out of the no. <laughs> I was making it up. Because <laughs> other people were saying coughing. I was like, okay, it's not coughing. That was my first guess. Broken talk is right twice a day, Juan, and you nailed that straight All out right. of the it, It's good natured ribbing. Someone's hacking on you. If they start like uh, teasing you or making fun of you, and then you kind of go, "Hey, can you knock that off?" And then they just hey. go, "Hey, I was only hacking on you." Yeah, <laughs> that's what we do on this show every single week. <laughs> right, a lot of hacking all the time. A lot of hack on each other all the time, and we're not even Australian. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's, it's that's probably why we found each other, guys. Just <laughs> like attracts like. All those borders, all those cultural borders, our language barriers, we just hopped right over them. It's all coming yeah. down. Yeah. Roasting all... knows no boundaries. <laughs> it's true. There's no borders uh, hacking. with hacking. Hacking, yeah. is hacking, the, borders. hacking is the universal language. <laughs> it's not it love. brings us hacking all together. Mm -hmm. Hacking is the new roast. Unites us. Um, all right, gosh, it's always so much fun, and it's already it always flies really fast when Jasmine comes on. So, are are you going to be able to stick around for the effort party, or do you have responsibilities, Jasmine? Absolutely, I'm keen to hang around for the effort party. She's yeah. keen for it. Keen. Keen. <laughs> She's keen. That was all right. That's our uh, that Let's is our show for this party week for a fang. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. No. No, not really. Okay, well, it's time for the snappy wrap-up. Stop distracting me. Um, <laughs> I don't know how the snappy wrap-up is going to work this week. Our producer will magically appear and tell us. No. When she no, makes we cannot hear our producer. We can't <laughs> hear her. Here's a snappy wrap-up, though. Her voice. Can't hear nope. you. Oh. Um, oh. What happened? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, we got yeah, it. Now my, my microphone almost fell off the desk earlier and I caught it and I must have flipped it off when I did. Amateur. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I, said, I don't know if the producer is here, but I'm taking over for her today. Mm -hmm. Good job. Um, Good job. And Thank you. Today, first of all, uh, Corey Hall wants to know how to become part of the super secret club, which I assume means the comedy click. Yeah, the comedy click. Um so glad you asked. It's it's almost like a plant, isn't it? But we didn't we didn't ask him to do that. Yeah, if you go to johnbrandy.com and become a member of the Comedy Click, there's a button there that will take you there. You can pick your your level of support all the way from zero all the way um, up to a million dollars a month. Flat out like a lizard yeah, drink. Flat out like a lizard. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's how you do it. We would love to have you join our merry band. Um, You've joined join the Comedy Click, you can get a link to the effort party on the member oh. homepage. You also get the privilege of buying this invisible koozie. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> it's magic. There you go. There it is. That's what it is. It's green, right? It's green yeah. normally. You're, We're going to get the after show started here very soon. The, act, the actual koozie is not see-through like this, but it'll keep your drink cold. And that's, that's only available to Click members, too. So Today's snappy wrap-up, I'm going to have... Jasmine and Juwan. All right. Yeah. 
that means we're gonna send say goodbye to John. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. And Brian. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. And uh, I can't find JT's green. There he is. Bye, He's JT. He's immune. He cannot be destroyed. Oh. See them all at the effort party. And the two of you are just going to read the credits in your best Australian accents. I, oh. I it won't be too difficult. The Jasmine's best Australian. That's great. <laughs> what a challenge. <laughs> uh, I got I to pull up my video here. Right. For those of you who have never seen this before, it's going to go really fast, and they're going to read as much as, of these. Whatever you can get. <laughs> get what you can get. I was going to make her do a redneck accent. That, well, I could try. You could do the Australian no. redneck. No, we'll do it. We'll go. Okay, you go. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the uh, the quarantine show. Uh, you can check out the Comedian Next Door podcast on right. MLNetwork.com. It's great because reasons. And don't forget Troy Baltus and Amber Bradley and Br Beth Brubaker and the lizard that's drinking in uh, all the <laughs> – what well, you should be a VK with comments because it's awesome. You go. Uh, uh, we want a special shout out to Rachel King, Julie King, Josh Kling. I didn't get that name. <laughs> you you love Brian because he's got great impressions. He can do a better Australian accent than I can. <laughs> Thank you to oh. Heather Reba, Stephen Peters, and you can find Juan Duvivo at castingcrowns.com. <laughs> Is your sister in Jasmine? It's right there. <laughs> the best thing about Jay. JT at JohnThomasX.com. It is great. And there's Tracy Trost. I almost said toast, but there we York. And then uh, we'll say something memorable. Like, you know, don't run your pushy into the ute this time, right? <laughs> don't come any guts, guys.